असलम हेलो एवरीबडी इट्स इन जीला शफात एंड आई वेलकम यू बैक टू माई चैनल होप यूर ऑल डूइंग गड टूडे वी आर गना स्टार्ट विद द न्यू टॉपिक इन एक्ूबमेंट्स ऑफ मॉडर्न इमेजिंग टेक्नोलॉजी दैट विल बी सी डी स्कैन नोन एज कंप्यूटर टोमोग्राफी सो दिस कंप्यूटर टोमोग्राफी विच इज़ इन शॉर्ट नोन एज सी टी और वी कैन कॉल और रेफर इट एज कैट नोन एज कंप्यूटर एक्शल टोमोग्राफी सो दिस टेक्नोलॉजी इज वाइडली यूज टूडे एंड it utilizes x-ray technology and sophisticated computers so that it can create image of cross sectional slices of the body of a patient so it means patient's body is being divided into slices and each slice is created into an image with the help of this computer tomography ct scan is actually a kind of advanced x-ray machines that can be used to diagnose internal organs injuries carefully Now, if we talk about normal X-rays, they are used to detect the fractures and dislocation of bones. They can also detect pneumonia, cancers. So, if we talk about CT scan, it uses both X-rays and computers to provide the results. Secondly, X-ray machines sometimes fail in diagnosing soft tissues, muscle damage, and other body organs. So, this is possible to diagnose with the help of this CT scan procedure. In fact the x-ray machines provide us the image with 2D form while as in CT scan image are in 3D form. So the CT scan examines quick overview of the pathology and it enables rapid analysis and treatment plans for the patient. First CT scan was developed by G and Hanswil in 1971. So the first CT scan which was developed it was dedicated to head scan only. It means patient's head was only being examined uh, under this technology. With time new advancements were made in the CT scan which will be discussed in the separate topic uh, generations of CT scan. Moving forward Now to actually understand how CT scan works it's important for us to understand some basic terms that are being used in CT scan First term is absorption means when there's the absorption of x rays into the body or we can say into an object which can be uh, defined as stopping of x rays with the transfer of energy Next term is scatter it is the deflection of x rays Next is incident intensity means how much x-ray photons are being falling on an object Next term is transmit intensity it means how much number of photons are being passing through an object So these intensities both incident and transmit intensity are different from each other Next one is alternation Alternation means when there is the reduction of the X-ray beam intensity means amount of X-ray beam on passing through the object or material due to absorption and scatter. As it is possible only that the intensity of X-ray beam will be reduced when there can be an absorption of the beam or there can be scattering of the beam. Whenever there is a need to know the degree of alternation, we can obtain it by measuring the or we can compare the incident and transmit intensity when both are being compared we can get the degree of alternation means how much reduction of x ray beam is there if there is a more dense material there is a less transmit of x rays and when there is a less dense material there is a more transmit of x rays next term is slice or cut as i already told you that ct scan creates images of cross sectional slices of the body so these cross sectional portions of the body which are being scanned for the product of ct image is called a slice or cut and the slice has width as well as volume how much width a slice has it is being determined by the width of an x ray beam means whatever the x ray beam's width will be that will be equal into the width of that slice of the part being examined moving forward with the basic principle in ct scan means how ct scan works it on which principle ct scan works so the basic principle behind ct scan is that the internal structures of an object can be reconstructed from multiple projections of the object it means that Uh, for example if an object like head is being under examination in ct scan 
it can be examined from different sides and each side uh, and each part of the head is being reconstructed into slice or we can say into an image same as x-ray machine has got x-ray tube and detector ct scan has also got x-ray tube and detector but detector in ct scan are more in number while as in normal x-ray machine we have got only one detector so when the narrow x-ray beam is being passed through the thin cross section of the body it scans the part of the body under examination and then this x-ray beam is being transmitted in detectors where uh, this uh, transmitted radiations are being measured in the form of numerical data and then this numerical data is being transferred into the computers where processing is there uh, so the numerical data is being processed and all the rays are being summed up and the construction of the image is being created in with the help of computers so in ct scan the construction of the image is done with the help of computer ct scan methodology so x-ray tube and detectors in ct scan are in rotating motion whenever they are in function it means they rotate around the patient and the axis of rotation is running from the patient's head to toe firstly let's understand what alternation coefficient means alternation coefficient means the degree to which the x-ray intensity is being reduced by the material it passes through so in ct scan the detectors measure the average linear alternation coefficient between the tube and detectors means detector measures the degree to which the x-ray intensity is reduced by the body it passes through so in ct scan 2d measurements are taken in helical manner all around the patient by the detector and after uh, the processing through the computers the image 2d image is being reconstructed into 3d image alternation data is being summed up uh, from the thousands of angles by the detector and they are then transferred into the computer so that there's a process of reconstruction of images sometimes contrast dye is being used in ct scan to make the internal organs more visible in the image in ct scan radiation detectors are being composed of detection elements such as scintillating crystals and photodiodes so in ct computer reconstructs the image from raw scan data that is created by cathode x-ray tube computers allow the technologies to shade rotate and to measure the organs in the image here in bone uh, in ct bone appears white gas and liquids are black in color and tissues are gray in color so this was all about the introduction to the ct scan the rest of the topics in ct scan will be discussed in the next topics thank you for watching take care